So the internet has been going crazy over the new DJI Mavic Pro and that the camera creates sort of a soft image. It does 4K at 30 frames per second. It should look almost identical to the DJI Phantom 4, which came out a couple months ago. But for some reason, it looks soft. So several people have already tested out their Mavic um, and compared it to the image from the Phantom 4 and also from the new GoPro Hero 5 because the Karma is very similar to what the Mavic can do. And when you put the images side by side, it looks like the Mavic is very, very soft for some reason. And this is causing people to kind of question whether or not they should buy the new Mavic Pro because it has this not really great looking camera. So I first learned about this when I watched Casey Neistat's vlog um, where he compared the Phantom 4, the Mavic, and the GoPro Karma. He also flew his Parrot Bebop, um, which is not really kind of any competition to these because it's, it's, it's not really at the same level as these other drones. When Casey looked at the Mavic Pro footage, um, it looked really soft like it was out of focus and it turns out it actually was out of focus. Casey later went on to Twitter saying that it was user error causing the soft image and that he didn't know how to focus the Mavic properly, making it look very soft. We don't know if he was told by some sort of DJI representative to correct this statement. I don't think so because he's very open about the brand deals that he does. But it'd be really interesting to see um, the footage that he gets later when he has figured out this focus problem. What I believe the problem is, is that on the DJI Go app you can click uh, to change the exposure on your image. You can do that with all of their drones and camera like the Osmo, everything. You can do that right now. So Casey later tweeted out saying, apparently the focus works differently on the Mavic. I played with it and I was able to get much sharper images. And that's really why this this whole softness is, is happening because the camera is not in focus. Let me give you an example right now. So this is what people are seeing with their Mavics now. It's out of focus, but what it kind of looks like when you play it back is that it's just lower quality. So once you tap on the screen or do whatever it does to focus it, it will just pop into focus just like that and you can see the detail. So on this blog page that I've been looking at, they say that the 4K images are absolutely stunning um, once you get it into focus, which sounds really great to hear since we were thinking the camera was maybe a lower quality camera than what DJI was saying. So if this is the problem, it seems like a very easy fix. All you're gonna have to do is focus the camera and you'll get even sharper images. I'm not really sure why DJI would do this. I know they have that um, Inspire camera where you can change the focus. Um, I guess if you're doing some really complicated um, drone work where you want that nice soft background similar to what you're seeing behind me, that would be a reason why you would change the focus. But on all the Phantoms, uh, you can't change the focus whatsoever. Um, that's because it has a very high number for the aperture. So everything's really in focus. So we still don't know why DJI did this. Um, it sounds like it's a very simple fix. So people really shouldn't be freaking out over this and making it as big of a deal as it is. All you have to do is focus the camera and that's as much as we know for now. Thank you for watching. Link to buy the Mavic Pro is down in the description below. If you want to check out the Karma comparison, I did a side-by-side -side, um, look at all of the specs of both the DJI Mavic Pro and the GoPro Karma. That's also in the link below. Other than that, thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.